We arrived in Australia down in Melbourne and since then flew to Brisbane to start our road trip down the east coast of this amazing country. This leg of the journey took us from Byron Bay to Sawtell in New South Wales, a trip of just over 150 miles. Incidentally, if you love giant shrimp, you might just want to get yourself to West Bellina. Sarah took the wheel this time, which makes sense as she is a far better driver than me. Sawtell, we're coming for you. A little admission. If you saw our video from Broad Beach, you'll know our mics failed. Making this video, our backup mics failed. We couldn't find anywhere en route to pick up new mics, so we made the best of it. We do manage to buy new mics on this road trip. Stick around for that, they're fantastic, but bear with us. We didn't want to just throw this video away as it's a once in a lifetime trip for us. So there's going to be a bit more voiceover than normal. You have arrived. Yep, so uh, I'll say, how about checking and parking only reception? Sorry, no pets. It's not very good reception, is it? Uh, do you park at that, do you think? Yeah, park under that tree. tree. Paperwork. So, this looks very. I can hear the seat. Can you hear the seat? It's just over there. Here we are. We've got a right, sofa. Got a sofa. Not the most. Let's well, be more comfy than that one in Brisbane. Far yeah. more comfy. Let's see what I tell you. Yeah, you can glasses. We got that. We got fridge. Which we're going to be making good use of. We need to get stuff out of the yeah. way quickly. Got a microwave, stove, um, little table. Yeah. The bed feels good. Okay. Done. Look at this. This is like glasses. Oh. That's good. Better than some Airbnbs we've had. Definitely. <laughs> Bathroom looks, um, I would say, it's all very clean. Fine. Very clean. The light doesn't work, but the light. Oh, hang on. Yeah, the light does work. Look at this. It's very clean. I, th I said, well, I think we booked into a, a hut. And she said, now doesn't that sound great? I said, does it? Yeah. She, that's how she said it. I said, does it? She said, it does. And then uh, when she gave me my key, and she said, you're in room one. I said, wow. <laughs> Room one. That must be amazing. She said it is. Oh, creek access. Yeah, and then we go to the beach. Let's go have a look at the creek now. Just see how. Well connected we are. So yeah, all these places have got outside. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with this. There you go. What's that like? So, although we've got probably the smallest and probably the original unit on the whole site, because of that, we're probably one of the closest to this. Right then, let's go on. Right. Go on. Tide, um, 
that boat. There is a road to the beach. There is. I, I read that you can swim across the creek to the beach. You can. You can. I'll video it. You're expendable. I'm not. Yeah? You wouldn't you wouldn't cope without me. Would you? Wouldn't you? There's a guy running down there. But the other side of that sand is the Pacific Ocean. Is it? Yeah. Right, let's go get ourselves sorted out. The biggest struggle of travel is always that we have too much stuff. Note that this is all of our stuff, so I guess compared to someone that owns a house it isn't a lot, but still it frustrates us every time. After getting everything in, we wasted no time. We headed straight into town to see what we could find. Sortel is a suburb of Coffs Harbour and has a population of just over 3,500 people. What have you learned about the cinema, Sarah? It's had a very interesting history. It's initially opened in 1930, but then there's been storm damage, there's been flooding damage, and then from a technology point of view, the family couldn't keep it up um, digitally, too expensive, so they put it on the market, so it closed. But because it's been in the community for so long, there was a huge crowdfunding that uh, raised enough money to actually buy it back. So it's now run by the local community. Well, should we go and see what's I on? I think. <laughs> should we go and see what's on tonight? Yes. Come on then. Thanks for you. Screen is here okay. and we still got heaps of seats. Where would you like to? Where do you recommend it? I would say uh, in this room here. Okay. Yeah. Well, should we do like five and six? Yeah, right. Yeah, five and six. Yeah, yeah cool. Thank, Thank you. Very much. That's excellent. Cheers. Thanks a lot. Thank you. So, can I see Olivia Coleman? Yes. In the Empire of Light. Yeah. Okay, we'll let you know what that's like later if we can get out. There we go. Nice old cinema. That's just the kind of place, just the kind of place we like. You like to find, yeah. yeah. It's kind of got that Art Deco look to it. All good. And, uh, Sorto itself is very cool as well, different to what I expected. I thought it was going to feel a lot more like really, really local, but it feels kind of a bit bohemian. Yeah, chill. Um, but, you know, a attractive to outsiders as well. Yeah. So we're going to take a little walk around this town and show you what we see. You're not going to believe this. But our Australia trip should come with a strap line of the quest for hats. Sarah has changed from being very hat adverse to beginning an addiction to hats. Very strange. And so here I wait. Let's see you then. I had a dilemma because I found another beige one identical to what I've got. Um, so this is slightly different actually. So. Right. So, what have we, what have we found? Because we, this is like real Australia. See what now. I mean about the mics? You know, this sounded horrible, new, so we're not anything. going to subject you to it. But basically, we were saying that being out of the city, you get to see how the average Australian lives and their lifestyle. And we're a fan. Literally, everyone we met was lovely. And we've never laughed as much or have been laughed at as much as on this trip down the east coast i saw the lady that runs the coffee shop kept catching my eye she could see we were recording but she couldn't wait anymore she gave us a muffin for free because it was the end of the day and she thought we were lovely people so we were right aussies are lovely right let's get back to this road trip next stop sawtell beach all right, so now we're on Sawtell Beach, and that there is the Pacific Ocean. So where exactly are Back we, there. Sarah? 
We are just down the beach. So in the background there, you can see where head, we, water. Yeah, the head. So where the, our campsite is, and this is the main beach. Yeah. So all you have to do is kind of go around the corner there, and that's that area that I wanted Sarah to swim over. She refused, <laughs> so we had to walk into it the town instead. <laughs> it's the yeah. middle of the afternoon, and it's too hot. Yeah, fair enough. Done. But this looks pretty delightful, doesn't it? Indeed, it does, Neil. Letting you into the life of a video editor, I always chuckle at some of the words I use in videos I would never do in real life. Delightful is one of those words. So we did get to see the Olivia Colman movie called Empire of Light. We both loved it. It's pretty hard hitting, but Olivia was an absolute delight. Oh, there we go again. Thanks for sticking around to the end. We hope you enjoyed it through all the sound issues, your troopers. If you did, put the word trooper in your comment and you'll get a personal thank you from us. We'll see you next time. You've been watching To Go Rome.